Praise God. Praise God. This is Apostle Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Hallelujah. Give him glory. Give him praise. Oh, come on up in here. I have um, another Bible study. Welcome. This is day three. Day three of the 40-day fast from 5 a.m. to 3 p.m. We're just doing liquids, water. Um, I understand you might need Gatorade or if you're under the doctor or if you're going through any kind of challenges with your body, well, use wisdom. You know, you have to do that. I had someone ask me today, you know, they got a little whatever and they had to eat something. Do whatever God tells you to do. Your body talks to you, people. You understand what I'm saying? Now, some are more seasoned. Don't compare yourself to anybody. Do what God have told you to do on this fast. Now, I'm going to tell you all right now, this, <laughs> you know, every time I do these fasts, and God speaks to me so, ew. and you have to understand, every time you go on a fast, what you're doing is you're putting your flesh under subjection. So you're going to hear your spirit more. I mean, God is going to be correcting you while you correct others. I'm just being real with you. It's not just about the person. Um, what people don't understand, when you're called to sparehead anything, especially in ministry, oh, you... I can't tell you, it's just been three days, the attacks that I have gotten spiritually, <laughs> almost physically, um, yesterday and today, I don't know what happened, but if good thing I've taken defense driving. A lot of people don't know my background, but when I was in college, I worked for the FBI, so I had to take defense driving where I can kind of like maneuver quick. Yesterday and today, I don't know what happened. Somebody just almost ran into me and I'm like, okay, is this just a coincidence? Yeah, I, I know the enemy don't like me. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And frankly, I don't like him either. So the feeling is mutual. So let me go ahead. Let's start with our opening scripture. Praise God. Go ahead, press share, press tag, because you already know this is very serious one. I got to warn you before I even start, I'm going to say some things and some of you may cringe. I'm just being real with you because... I'm telling you, he's been talking deep and it's not about bashing anybody. It's about getting the body of Christ in order. So I have to do things the way God say do it. So my foundation scripture is going to come out of Matthew chapters 27 and the verses are going to be from three to five. And it talks about when Judas, now you, you understand my title and it was so deep because God gave it to me while I was driving today. He said, Deanna, your gift will make room for you or it'll kill you spiritually and possibly physically. You don't understand what I'm saying. This here, I say it all the time, is death to the person that's playing, death to the person that's sin. Have anybody else read this Bible for real? Because every time they played with God, they died. Hello? And we have a church, unchurched. Oh, come on, somebody. We have people playing with God as if they don't know God. Oh, and hold on. That's that's the church fault because we as a whole have not been right. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So let me read this scripture. I'm coming out of chapter 27, Matthew 27, and I'm reading from 3 to 5. Then Judas, which had betrayed him, Jesus, when he saw that he was condemned, repented himself and brought again the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and elders. Number four, saying, I have sinned in that I've betrayed the innocent blood. And they said, what is that to us? See that thou to that. Number five. And he cast down the pieces of silver in the temple and departed and went, hanged himself. This was the word of God. Let me tell you something. And, and this is people be thinking you're trying to. And I'm not trying to threaten anybody. I'm telling you the word of God. Touch not my anointed, do my prophets no harm. But hold on. Notice he say anointed. That's anybody that's anointed. Whether you like them or not. That is a, a, a <laughs> let me let me preach this thing. Let me go ahead and tell you what thus said the Lord. The reason why he gave me that. He said, Deanna, I've anointed them. I've anointed them, but here's what they're doing. The ones that are anointed, you're not doing what God have called you to do. Oh, I'm going to have to break this thing down. And I'm telling you, it's going to be heavy tonight. It's going to be heavy. I'm telling you. So here's the deal. You have the ones that are not anointed on Facebook, in churches, all over the world, pimping. Because guess what? This is an easy way to make money. It's lucrative, right? Well, you already know they're they going to have their reward, right? Nobody's wishing anything. I'm telling you what's going to happen. That same word that they're preaching will make room for them. Or kill them spiritually and maybe physically. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. So let me tell you everything that God said before I get on this subject. God says, and he brought back, focus on your assignment. Too many of you trying to be T.D. Jakes, Juanita Bynum, all them famous ones out there until you don't know your assignment. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God up in here. 
You're so busy trying to mock someone else, copy someone else, imitate someone else. Don't want to be authentic. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God. Let me tell you why they can't be authentic. You don't know. I know this when, um, and I'm, I always say his name. I think it was Derek Prince that came from wherever he came from. And he brought the message about grace. You don't remember everybody had that message. You mean to tell me, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Come walk with me. Walk with me. You mean to tell me that God only gave one person one message and everybody else just follow suit? Let me tell you what people of God are not doing. You're not spending time with God because when you spend time with God, stuff will come to you. Let me show y'all this. Get them from the dollar store or Walmart. I keep pads on me because I never know when God's going to say, this is your subject. Write stuff down. I'll be in the car. I'll be at the stoplight. Don't worry. I'm stopped and I'm writing. I'm right. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying because I hear him. I hear him because I'm spending time in my word. Hallelujah. That's not to glorify myself. If you're going to preach this thing, if you're going to teach this thing, well, you need to spend time with God. But I'm going to tell you what preachers are doing. Most people that are preaching and teaching are doing. They just get in that Bible and they just have to gift the gap. And that's why. And you'll always know the level of anointing. Because the level of anointing is the level of the message. Come on, somebody. Oh, I'm about to go here. You can tell that they just got out this Bible of verse and then they just... Hey, the gift of God. Or, oh, I'm about to go here. I'm about to go here. You see you internet preachers that be um, getting your sermons off the internet? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I have never did that and never will. I don't have to. I don't have to because I talk to God 24-7, and I do mean that. And you have preachers. I've heard some famous preachers. I ain't going to say no name today. Notice I say today. Oh, God don't talk to you 24-7. The devil is a lie. God will talk to me even if I think something I ain't got no business. I'm not talking about bad. I may not like what somebody said. And I may want to say something. God said, Deanna, don't say that. Deanna, don't do that. Deanna, don't wear that. Deanna, don't go there. Deanna, don't tell me God don't speak to you 24-7. The Holy Spirit, three in one. Hallelujah. So if the Holy Spirit, who is the Holy Spirit? God. You remember the truth, the Trinity? So what do you mean God don't speak? The devil is a lie. It's who you spending time with. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm about to preach this thing the way God say preach it. So here they are. What they what they doing is they getting everything off the internet. Or, to be honest with you, oh, I'm going here, I'm going here, I'm going here. All right? A lot of people, they come to my page. And, I, and it's so crazy. They'll take my message, even my prophecies. And they'll steal them. Now listen to me. When you give it like this, it's for the whole world anyway. Don't get me wrong. But when you lie and say God gave it to you, that makes you a liar before God. And you're actually lying on God as well. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Now, everybody takes people messages. Everybody, oh, that's good. But what they do is they add what the Holy Spirit gives them to add to it. They don't just take the whole message and say that's mine. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But you got people doing it because now the enemy... I didn't say the world. The enemy has always been in the church. Pharisees and Sadducees, who do you think control them? The devil knows the Bible more than you and me put together. Come on, somebody. He knows scripture. I'm not impressed by those that know scripture. I used to quote it. Do you know I made myself forget to quote? Yes, I stopped quoting because I sounded too robotic. I, 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 and it's just the truth. I knew that Bible back and forth, still do, but I do not quote scripture like I used to because it sounds too, like, you know, whatever, too fake, just to be honest with you. We have to get back to having a relationship. That's what this is about. A relationship to where you hear God. He tells you what to preach, what to teach. God knows. And let me tell you something. The level of your message will always be to the level of the people that's listening. You all, this is why God have told me to preach this. Because some of you must be doing it. Oh, come on, somebody. You got to be authentic if you're going to do this. Oh, hallelujah. All you know somebody that's doing it. Let's be honest. You got to be authentic if you're going to preach this. Because I'll be honest with you. The Holy Spirit will expose you. And let's be honest. Wisdom and discernment. That's the gifts of the Holy Spirit. They're going to let you know. They real. They fake. They lying. They perpetrating. They doing something. That's why they call it wisdom and discernment. Come on, somebody. So let me continue. He says, most do not want to go through anything to get the anointing. Let me tell you something. People don't want to go through nothing these days. They want easy stuff. A microwave generation. Just like that. Come on, somebody. Why do you think they have fast foods? Because, oh, America, oh, they did that. 
The elite did that. We're going to put fast food all over America so we're going to have obesity. We're going to cut our family time. They're not going to have family dinners anymore. Oh, come on, somebody. They're going to text. They ain't going to call. Y'all don't understand how this is, huh? Because everything's connected. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. They ain't going to want to spend time in the Bible. As a matter of fact, we're going to take away the Bible so they could do it on the on the phone or you don't hear what I'm saying. And, and one thing about it, I hate that. Because here's the deal. I said hate too. Because why are you in church? You don't even want your Bible. You get on that phone, so say, looking for a scripture but then you go straight to Facebook, let you get a ding, a ding, a notification. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. God said people don't want to go through nothing. They want to be anointed and appointed, but they don't want to go through. Can I tell you something? If God is going to make your name great, if God is going to give you a heavy anointing, you're going to go through some stuff. Oh, come on, somebody. Everybody that was in that Bible, David went through some stuff. Joseph went through some stuff. Moses went through some stuff. Hallelujah, hallelujah. They went through some stuff. Jesus went through some stuff. Everybody that truly was anointed. Now, if you don't want to go through nothing, you ain't got to worry about it because God ain't going to, he, he ain't going to give it to you anyway. The ones that really, really want it, notice they don't get it. Ones like myself, I didn't ask for this. It was already on my life as from a young girl. I heard Jesus when I was, what, seven, eight years old. I told mom, I said, mama, I got an imaginary friend. I'm, I'm sitting up there. I didn't even know it was Jesus. I just thought it was somebody talking to me. I didn't know. I know now. So, this is what he says. Oh, God. I, I got to say it. I got to say it. And I know some of you going to cringe, but I got to be obedient in this life. My God, my God, my God. Y'all got to give me a moment because I knew these two people, but he he made a point. I want you to say it, so I have to. Do y'all understand what happened to Eddie Long and Zachary Thames? And I knew them both. Mighty men of God. Oh, I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere. The level of your heavy anointing will be the level of warfare. Don't you know the devil is always after you? Oh, I'm going somewhere. Come on, follow me. Follow me. When God says your gift will make room for you or it will kill you. Don't you know that the devil will always come after you even till you are dead? Because one thing he's trying to do is stop your anointing. So he'll send whoever or whatever. Y'all better listen to me. They both fell by lust. I love them both. So don't I want to hear nothing in the comments crazy because I'm just going to delete it. Delete. We have to be guarded. Guard your anointing. Because the enemy is always watching for a way to get in and he'll use people that are close to you oh y'all ain't ready for me i just said something he'll use people because he know he, you ain't gonna let a stranger come too close let's be honest so all these people do let me tell you something i put something up about maybe a month ago about china you know what they said in china they say that it's good money against um plants against christians can i tell y'all something they're doing the same thing here they've been doing it they, they call them handlers they call them handlers or they call them plants. All they do is, is give them 20000 Hey, look, all I want you to do is just keep tabs on them. Or, just to be honest with you, if they want to try to sleep with you, look, I'll give you $10,000. Just put this in, in the um, water. Put this. I'm not saying that everybody's coerced. But I am saying that it's a reason a man or a woman of God fall. It, it just don't happen like that. Sorry. Look at David and Bathsheba. The enemy knows what the place in front of you. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere. Hold on. Hold on. I ain't even quite finished. Let me tell you what God says. God said the enemy has brought worldliness in the church. He said, but most Christians, they don't understand. What are you thinking about when no one's looking? Because that's who you are. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. He said, what do you do with your time when nobody's watching? Oh, hallelujah. What do you promote on your page? Because, you know, some of y'all, y'all sitting up there talking about hallelujah and they're cussing out somebody the next day or even on Facebook. How you going to do that? I, I, I'm, I'm following some of y'all or some of y'all just come through my um, news feed or whatever the case may be. Hallelujah, hallelujah. But let somebody make you mad and you are saying everything but a child of God. Hallelujah. What's in your heart, God says, because whatever in your heart is going to come out your mouth or your actions. And if you think other people are watching, how much more the enemy? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The title is, your gift will make room for you. Or it will kill you. And listen to what I'm saying. Because of the level of anointing, it is going to be the level of warfare. 
The enemy will take something. I'm talking about he will have something special made just for you. Oh, y'all think it's a game. Hallelujah to his name. That's why you have to get close to God and stay close to God. But the enemy is always saying, come play. Come play. I got what you want. I got what you need. He's a drug dealer. Oh, come on, somebody. He's a pimp. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. He's a soothsayer. And he's definitely a liar. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm trying to tell you how people are falling, even in ministry. The number one thing that is making people fall today, God says, is money. Learn to be humble. Learn to just thank God for what you have. You have a house, fine. You have a car, fine. You have a bank account, fine. You have this, fine. Some people ain't got nothing. And yet you still, that thank you, Lord, I hear you. The spirit of greed. The spirit of greed to take you on things that take you around into places that you never said that you'll go. Or even if you get delivered, you notice how your chap, um, you know, like kind of like come back to that same thing. You're like, oh, I thought I, 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 I backslided. How could I backslide? Because 24 seven, you got to do this for real. You got to guard who you're around, what you say, what come into your vicinity. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That's how you do it. And yes, it's hard. But I'm going to tell you what God said to to make sure I tell y'all up here. It's going to be hard any way you go. You can do this, and this is not easy. Oh, come on, somebody. Yes, it has its benefits, but this is not easy. Y'all don't hear me. People hate me for nothing just because of my spirit. Hallelujah. Oh, I want to say something. I ain't going to say it right now, though. Um, I told y'all, so kind of, some all kind of um, things are happening. Like, people are offering me things. And then um, there's somebody walked in, and, and you, sh- you should have saw how they looked at me. They don't even know me. I said, oh, you don't like my spirit, huh? Hallelujah to his name. Remember Amos 3 says, can two walk together lest they agree? The answer is no. And I promised God something and I'm going to keep that promise from this day forth. And and actually I'm talking about before, but I'm going to say it like this. You should make the same promise. If anything threats my relationship with God, any job, any person, any family member, anybody, cut. Oh, come on, somebody cut it. Yes, and I'm not talking about that ugly song, but cut it. Shut it down. Hallelujah. You don't hear what I'm saying. Shut it down. Too many of y'all letting things into your life that's not of God. Letting people get close to you that's not of God. Honey, let me tell you something. Spirits are real. Have you ever looked at that movie Fallen with Denzel Washington where it just transferred by touching? Hallelujah. Can I tell y'all something? I don't know why God's making me go here. I was in big lots in California. And this is a true story. I, I don't exaggerate nothing. I'm telling you. Well, I did write a book. I'm waiting for somebody to edit it. That's another story of my whole life. <laughs> but they had this guy, and he kept trying to touch me. So I went on another aisle. He kept trying to touch me again. And I already knew it was a warlock. I went on another aisle. And I ain't even going to lie. When I say Diana up, that's not an alter ego. I don't believe in all that. I mean... I start acting that something that's not of God. Diana showed up, and I, I got on the phone, and I said, I'll tell you what. You know where my money at? I said, because if this man touch me or try to touch me one more time, I'm going to flip him up in this store, and I'm going to do what I do. Come get me out of you know where. Yeah, I said it. I know I'm a Christian. I know, I know I don't play with warlocks, and don't touch me. I don't know you. I don't know what you're trying to do to me. Why are you trying to get close to me and you don't know me? Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. We are always in a war. We are always in a war. Now, don't get it twisted. If somebody's physically trying to harm you, you have the right to defend yourself. And that's what I'm saying. So don't get it twisted. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I know y'all can see my persona. I am who I am. Trust me. Mm-hmm, like you see me. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just not that little cute little. No, no, no. You try to mess with me, honey. Honey. What? Oh, yes, I will. And will not hesitate. What? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm a warrior for real. Play with me. What? The devil is allowed. And so let's get back to what the thing at hand. You have to guard everything. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Y'all don't see what's happening, huh? The enemy, it's actually his time right now. And God will not take it from him because revelations has to, it has to be played out. God said, God, everything. Question everything. Test everything. But this is also the season. Oh, hallelujah. I feel the power of God. Where God will right now. God is getting ready to bless his people supernaturally. You ain't got to work for it. You ain't got to lie for it. You ain't got to steal. You ain't got to perpetrate. You ain't got to manipulate. All you got to do is be obedient. Thus said the Lord. Hallelujah. A lot of people are not being obedient in this hour. 
Don't let your lust or your temptation make you do something that is not of God. I've seen it happen so many times. When I come up on here, this is what does said the Lord. This ain't Deanna. And that's because he wants you to make it. God wants to prosper you, but there's a way that you got to do. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because there's a way that seemed right, but it's not right. And I'm going to be honest with you. The church in trouble. The church in trouble. The church in trouble. The enemy is right there in the church. He has brought in worldliness. Worldliness like never before. God says, come out of her. Separate yourself. We have a Babylonian, a Babylonian church right now. Excuse me. Sorry about that. So let me tell you something. The gift that God has given you, you have to, you, you have to, you have to know your craft. You have to get into your Bible. You have to fast. You have to pray. You have to work out your body. I'm, I'm, I'm doing this one more time. I say, okay, God, I get it. And I'm using myself for example. I've been going up and down on my way, up and down. This time I say, God, I repent. I know you need me. You, you, come on, somebody. I'm talking to somebody. We have to be balanced in every area of our life. Because guess what? The greater the anointing, the greater God going to use you. The greater the anointing, the greater the warfare. You might have to labor all night. You might have to pray all night. You might have to do... You don't hear what I'm saying. God wants to use us in this hour. He's talking to the remnant. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God. But you got to do it the right way. You got to do it the right way. Hallelujah. Mm. I feel the power of God up in here. And basically, that was all he said today. You know, um, I'm going to tell you right now, though. The enemy is after us. Mm, Y'all don't hear me. I'm seeing it. Let me tell you something. Something happened today. Uh, I I can't really remember because I've been, I've been doing so much today. But something happened today. And, and I said, I see you, devil. Let me tell you something. Plead the blood of Jesus over you. Thank you, Lord. I hear you. I knew he wanted me to do something else. That's why I was talking. I was trying to say, God, bring it back to me. So he just brought it back to me. Hold on a minute before we get off of here. So this is the spirit also that's coming against. Thank you, Holy Ghost. That's coming against the church. The spirit of Jezebel. And Jezebel could be a man or a woman. Now, hold on. Jezebel's a spirit. It's not a person. Ooh, come on, somebody. Jezebel's a spirit, not a person. Y'all be trying to attack people. No, attack the spirit. So I'm going to speak some things right now. In the name of Jesus, go ahead, reach your hand, or just um, listen where you're at. We loose the bounds of heaven and the hounds of heaven against Jezebel right now. We rebuke and bind the spirits of witchcraft, lust, seduction, intimidation, idolatry, and whoredom connected to Jezebel right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We release the spirit of Jeru against Jezebel, Jahu, I'm sorry, and her cohorts. We command Jezebel to be thrown down and by eaten by the homes of heaven. Hallelujah to his name. We rebuke all spirits of false teaching, false prophecy, idolatry, and perversion connected with Jezebel. Hallelujah. We lose tribulation against the kingdom of Jezebel. We cut off all assignment of Jezebel against the ministers of God. Hallelujah to his name. We cut off and break the powers of every word released by Jezebel against our lives in the name of Jesus. We cut off the table and reject all food from Jezebel. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Hallelujah. We cut off all assignments of Jezebel and her daughters that corrupt the church. Hallelujah. Y'all don't hear what I just said. In Jesus Christ of Nazareth name. Oh, hallelujah. And I touch and agree with every last one of you that have God said he'll give you the desires of your of your heart if you obey him so I just touch and agree the Bible says that any two shall touch and agree I touch and agree only if it's God's will father God I pray that you keep them strengthen them father God I pray a bloodline around them the blood of Jesus oh come on somebody I plead the blood of Jesus over their minds their souls and their bodies oh father God keep your people protect your people guard your people father God in the name of Jesus and Holy Ghost fall on them. Let the Holy Ghost fire fall on them. The fire of God, the power of God, the anointing of God, the obedience of God. Hallelujah to his name. Oh, Father, I decree and declare this prayer that will not be hindered, stop the block, but will accomplish what we were saying. In Jesus Christ of Nazareth name, let us say amen, amen, amen. Let me tell you something. Thank you, Lord. I feel you. I feel the power of God, y'all. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 
God is, is he, thank you, Lord, I hear you. The power of God is falling down on the earth. He said, will you accept it? He said, but you got to stay clean. You got to stay pure. You got to come from a, among them. And yes, you going to have to sacrifice. This life is sacrificial. You can't do what you want to do, people. I'm sorry. You can't go where you want to go. You can't say what you want to say. Because now you're being your own God. And that's not of God. You got to let God use you. He says that anybody, say, who will go for me? He said, who will speak for me? Who will preach for me? Who will labor for me? Who will go after souls for me? Hallelujah to his name. I feel the power of God up in here. So that's all God told me to say today. Today is day three. You know, do your best. Give God your best on this fast. You know, um, I'm praying for everybody. And I am definitely going to actually, I didn't do it yesterday, but I'm going to get back up on here. And I have to tell you what happened. Um, yeah. And um, all I can do is just continue to pray for everybody. Continue to pray for me. Hold on. Only the ones that have a prayer life. If you ain't got no prayer life, don't pray for me. Yeah, I say it just like that too. So God bless you. God keep you. I love you through Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I don't have to know you. I know your spirit. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because here's the deal. Everybody can't handle me. Everybody can't handle my spirit. Everybody can't handle your spirit. Let's be real. Like spirits, the kindred spirits, we know each other. Uh, uh, come on, somebody. And a voice, the other voice, the strange voice, we will not follow. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, somebody. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Real life soldiers for that is who we are. Uh, God bless.